Yo, yo, what up? I want to take this time and introduce to you Octaviano Ambroso Larasolo, who was the first Mexican-American United States Senator. Around 1870, Larasolo's family went bankrupt, and at the age of 11, Larasolo left home and headed to Tucson, Arizona, under the care of Jean Salponte, a French-born bishop of Arizona. After graduating St. Michael's College at Santa Fe at the age of 18, Larasolo became a teacher and taught in New Mexico and in Texas. While teaching, he decided he wanted to study law, so he would teach during the day and study at night. As y'all can tell, his side hustle was strong. On December 11th, 1884, Larasolo became a U.S. citizen so he could become an American lawyer. That same year, he also registered with the Texas State Republican Party. His political career began in 1886 when he was appointed clerk of the district court at El Paso. From there, he worked in local government in varying positions. Throughout his political career, he was dedicated to equality and education for Spanish-speaking Americans. At the 1910 New Mexico Constitutional Convention, Larasolo was instrumental in ensuring the inclusion of a provision recognizing the Spanish language for use in conducting public business. He eventually left New Mexico's Democratic Party because of his commitment to ensuring equal citizenship rights for all Hispanics. In 1918, he was elected as a Republican to the Office of Governor of New Mexico, becoming the first Mexican-born Latino to hold that position. In 1928, the Democratic Senator of New Mexico, Andreas Jones, passed away. Larasolo ran and won for Jones' remaining term. This made Larasolo the first Mexican-American to serve the U.S. Senate. But unfortunately, by the time he was elected, Larasolo was pretty old and was suffering many different illnesses which eventually led to him only being able to serve just one congressional session. During his brief three-month service, he was only able to introduce one legislative action. This action called for an establishment of an industrial school in New Mexico for the Spanish-speaking youth to promote equal opportunity. And now you know an important person in Latinx history that you probably would have never heard of. 